Monkey bread is like a giant donut, but instead it's made up of soft little pillows of dough covered in a cinnamon sugar. My caramel monkey bread takes things to another level with a generous drizzle of salted caramel sauce, which makes things sticky but delicious. Let's begin with the dough. You're going to add some milk to a heatproof jug along with some butter and you're going to microwave this for 60 seconds. Then you're going to add two eggs and whisk those in. To a separate bowl, you're going to add some bread flour, instant yeast, caster sugar and salt. And with the dough attachment, you're going to mix this on low speed to help everything combine. Then while the mixer is on low speed, you're going to add some of those wet ingredients. In fact, you're going to add them all. Once those are all in there, you're going to let this continue mixing for about three or four minutes until a smooth dough forms. After about three or four minutes, stop the mixer, cover the mixing bowl and let this rise in a warm spot for one hour. The dough is going to triple in size. You're going to punch the dough in the middle and take this out of the bowl. Sprinkle your workbench with a little bit of flour. Knead this a little bit before you form it into a ball. Then using a bench scraper or a large knife, you're going to cut this in half, half again, and then one more time. With each of those pieces, you're going to roll them into a log and cut them into eight small pieces. Each of those pieces, you're going to roll them into a little dough ball. And these little dough balls are what is going to make up our monkey bread. Brush the inside of a bundt pan with some melted butter and set that aside. And to a small mixing bowl, you're going to add some brown sugar, caster sugar, some cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg. Mix those ingredients together and sprinkle the inside of the bundt pan with that sugar. Before you add your first layer of little dough balls. Brush those with some butter and sprinkle with some more cinnamon sugar before you add half of the remaining dough balls, more butter and cinnamon sugar before you add the rest of the dough balls and repeat. This is gonna go in the oven to bake for 35 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. It's gonna look nice and golden. To get this out of the bundt pan, after it's been cooling for about 10 minutes, you wanna gently tap it twice on top of your workbench. Then turn it upside down and it should all come out. But if it doesn't all come out like mine, then don't worry about it because we're gonna cover this in delicious caramel sauce anyway. No one's really gonna know. Transfer that to your serving plate. And guys, the last thing you wanna do is use my delicious salted caramel sauce and drizzle it generously on top. This dessert is so delicious. Those little dough balls all kind of bake together and create these little pillows of sweet dough that caramel sauce is so yum and the caramel is really heightened by the salt in it. And each of these balls is covered in a thin layer of crispy sugar. You can try this recipe for yourself over on my website, thescranline.com. Print the recipe for free. I have loads of other great recipes you can check out on there as well. And if you enjoyed spending time with me in my kitchen today, hit the like button. Click on a video up on screen to continue watching and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.